Bebop, the baby porcupine, is making his big debut. He's just one of thousands of animals you can see at the Wildlife World Zoo. Christy Morcom is the queen bee when it comes to any animal species. And you're going to share some fun and interesting facts with us today. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, absolutely. So he, I think the biggest question is going to be about his quills. I thought that when I would pet him that they were going to go ahead, you know, instantly just inject into my hand. That's not the case. That's not the case. That's actually a common misconception with these guys. So people think that porcupines shoot their quills. Okay. However, they do have to make contact with something. And once they make contact, they will release their quills and their quills are barbed, so yeah. they get stuck into the animal or whatever is pursuing them very easily. Mm -hmm. And then being barbed, you can't just pull the quills out if you don't have hands, so often they stay in the animal. And because they're covered in bacteria, the animal often ends up with a bacterial infection. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's not good. Um, so another surprising fact that you had just told me is that their teeth really never stop growing, so they really rely on um, rough surfaces, hard surfaces to keep them down? They do, so being a rodent, their teeth continually grow, so they have to chew on hard things to keep their teeth from growing too long. And they'll chew on things like roots and hard surfaces to keep those teeth ground down. And they are herbivores, so they eat a variety oh. of different plants and roots mm -hmm. and leaves and things like that. And they're also nocturnal. They are nocturnal. And it's easy to tell what scents he uses when he's out there looking for food, because he has that really large nose. Yeah. So that's what he's going to use when he's out there trying to find food. And he's also a tree dweller, which is very unique for a porcupine. Yeah. So he just hangs out in trees. He'll spend almost his entire life up in the trees. And he has a lot of amazing adaptations to help him live in the trees. He has those really cool hands, which is fabulous because you can see them really well right now while he's eating that banana. Yeah. And he also has a prehensile tail. Okay, which means that he's, look at him, wrapping Isn't it around so right cute? there. He's multitasking, and I, you know, I was gonna say, he looks like a, a baby manatee. Doesn't he? Look at his little face there. And that is so funny, because you are the second person to tell me that. He has that little manatee nose. He really does. Yeah. Okay, typically there are one to four babies born at a time, and they're called something special. So they're little porcupines. <laughs> porcupines. Oh. Porcupines. <laughs> little tiny baby porcupines and they're born after a 200 day gestation period. So they're born oh. pretty developed. Okay. And uh, they have their eyes open, they're fully furred. They also wean very quickly, usually oh. at about two months. And you can see he's just a couple weeks old and he's already eating solids and he loves his bananas. So when he's full grown, he'll be up to four pounds then? Yeah, on average, they're about four pounds. They can get a little bit larger than that. They can get closer to 10, but your average tree porcupine is gonna be around four. And being a tree porcupine and having a prehensile tail, his tail is strong enough to support his body weight. Wow, that is so, Phenomenal. What is going on at the Wildlife World Zoo? So there is a lot going on right now. The weather is still amazing. Prime yes. zoo weather. We have so many babies. We have a full baby animal nursery. We have tons of babies on exhibit. And it's just a lot of fun because when you come out with over 6,000 animals, you never know what babies you're going to see. Oh my gosh. And babies are the best, right? Little Bebop, you did so good, bud. You're going to have a full belly. Thank you so much, Christy. Yeah, thank you.